everyone in today's recipe i will be showing you how to cook the perfect pigeon peas with fish and boiled yams i am rosie and you are welcome to my kitchen and this is the pigeon peas that i'm going to be cooking pigeon peas are very healthy and delicious as well I will start by washing the beans and the beans is nicely picked out already it's best to pick out your beans before you start cooking the beans I'm going to wash it for about two to three times and you can see some stones so I'll repeat the process once that is done i'll transfer it into a strainer rinse it and then we start cooking transfer the washed beans inside the pot for today i'm going to be using instant pot which is the same as pressure pot adding some water to cover the beans these beans needs lots of water to cook once that is done I'm going to cover and then we'll leave the beans to cook. So for pressure pot, I'll be setting the timer for one hour. These beans take between three to four hours to cook on the stove top. It takes a very long time to cook. It doesn't cook on time. So I'll be using one hour. If I need to add more, then I will let you guys know. Next, I'm going to be using tilapia fish. Pat the fish dry with paper towel. Once that is done, I will season with salt. And I'm also going to be using this seasoning powder here. And this is just a combination of different herbs blended together. You should feel free to use any season you like for your fish. And I'm also going to be drizzling in about two tablespoons of olive oil and you can use any oil of your choice. I will gently massage all the spices and the oil on the fish and my hands are washed already. I will cover with a parchment paper and leave it to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes so the salt and everything can enter inside the fish. So this is 15 minutes later, I left it for 15 minutes. So now I will transfer the fish to a baking rack. I'm going to be grilling this fish in the oven. Feel free to fry your fish if you prefer the fried one. And I'm going to be grilling at 350 degree Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. So next, I have bell peppers and scotch bonnet, which I will be using. And I'm going to be using two large onions. So for beans, I like a lot of onions in my beans. It just makes beans taste so delicious and onions actually help beans to soften fast so i'm going to dice the onions like so you can slice the onions anyhow you prefer and if you don't like seeing the onions you can just blend it and then add it into the beans so next i'm going to be blending some of the onions and bell peppers so we we'll blend it into a smooth paste and that is done in an empty pot, we add in some red palm oil. 
Once the oil is hot, add the diced onions. Give it a gentle stir. I'm going to be frying these onions until the onions is very, very fried, but not burnt. So keep stirring from time to time. And I am frying these onions on a high heat. So once the onions is nicely fried, take out some of the fried onions to garnish the beans when the beans is ready. Next, add the blended pepper mince. Give it a gentle stir. Cover and leave it to cook on medium to low heat. So here is the sauce. The sauce is be cooking now for some time. I will stir. At this point, I'm going to be adding salt and stir it again and then i will reduce the heat to a very low heat and just leave it there so here is the fish the fish is out of the oven and is nicely grilled now so i'm just going to leave that to cool down next here is the yam that i'm going to be cooking so this is yam this is what yam looks like and this yam, I have washed it already. So just cut the yam to your desired size. I like to wash yam before I start peeling it. And this is just a personal preference. You guys know yam can be dirty, it's too bad. So if you're not going to be cooking your yam, do not wash it because it's going to get spoiled. So then peel the yam. And when you're peeling your yam, you want to make sure to drop the peeled one inside water if not the yam is going to change color so once that is done in an empty pot add water add salt and stir to dissolve the salt And then add the yam and will cover. Yam doesn't take time to cook. This should take between 15 to 20 minutes. And this is 15 minutes later. I'm going to check. I will use a fork to check. And at this point, the yam is ready. So I will transfer it to the sink to take out the water right away. So that is done. So we are going to be transferring this yam to a food warmer to keep the yam warm. The beans is almost ready. Allow the instant pot to go off on its own. Once it goes off, use a kitchen towel to push the veg to free the pressure. And this step is very important when you are using a pressure pot. If you open it right away, it's going to cause accident. Be sure to read your label before you start using any pressure pot because it can be very dangerous. So once that is completely done, I will check the beans. Can you guys see? This beans is very, very soft. Can you see that? I cooked it for one hour here and this beans takes three to four hours to cook on the stove top. Oh my goodness. So next, here is the sauce. The sauce is be doing its thing and is nicely fried now. I'm just going to give it a gentle stir and then we transfer the cooked beans inside the pot. I already added salt to the sauce before, so I'm not going to be adding any more salt to the beans. You can taste and adjust for seasoning if needed so we give that a nice stir so once that is nicely mixed at this point i'm going to be adding in more diced onions i just love to see onions in my beans if you don't like seeing the onions you can just blend the onion because onions makes beans taste so good it just takes beans to a whole nother level I will cover and leave it for about 10 minutes so everything can marinate themselves. So this is 10 minutes later and this beans 
is ready it smells amazing in my place we call these beans olene what is it called in your place leave me a comment down and let me know what this beans is called in your place i like to cook mine to be a little bit watery because it's ticking up when it cools down you can adjust it to anyhow you like it and this is one of the best beans ever and it's ready here i have my plate i'm going to be adding the boiled yams the fish and i will not forget that fried onions and this beans tasted so delicious i want to thank you all so much for watching remain blessed and i will see you in my next video bye